Two very useful formulas have been developed to help us find the sum of an arithmetic series. Remember, an arithmetic series is defined as the sum of the members of an arithmetic sequence. The sum of a short and simple arithmetic sequence can be found by simply adding up all the terms. In this example, all six terms add up to 78, so 78 is the sum S6. For a more complex series, it would be very difficult and time consuming to add up all the terms. Luckily, there are two very useful formulas we can use to find the sum. This is the first one, and this is the second one. Which formula we use depends on the information we have to start with. Let's take a closer look at each formula and see how it's used. The first formula we'll look at is Sn equals n over 2 times the sum of a1 plus an, or the sum of the first term and the last term. Sn is the sum of all the terms in the series. Lowercase n stands for the total number of terms in the series that we want to find the sum of. A with a subscript 1 is the value of the first term in the series. And A with a subscript n is the value of the nth term in the series. If we want the sum of the whole series, then a n is the value of the last term. This formula is used when we know three of these variables and want to find the fourth one. For example, if we're given the number of terms, the values of the first term and the last term, we can calculate the sum of the series. In another example, if we know the sum, the number of terms, and the value of the last term, we can calculate the value of the first term, a1. Let's do an example question. We're asked to find the sum of this series. The first thing we can determine is the number of terms. We see there are a total of 10 terms in this series. So the number of terms, n, is equal to 10. We want to find the sum of this series, so we write down the formula Sn equals n over 2 times the sum of a1 plus a n. Because n equals 10, we can substitute S10 for Sn. 10 for n here, and a10 for a n in the equation here. We see the value of the first term, a1, is equal to 4, and the value of the last term, a10, is equal to 58. So we'll substitute 4 for a1 and 58 for a10 like this. The fraction 10 over 2 is equal to 5. So we'll change 10 over 2 to a 5. The numbers in the bracket 4 plus 58 add up to 62. So we'll replace 4 plus 58 by 62. 5 times 62 is equal to 310. So the sum S10 is equal to 310. So the final answer to this question is the sum of this series, S10, is equal to 310. For long and complex series, using this formula is much quicker than adding up a long string of numbers. Now we'll have a closer look at the second formula shown here. Like the other formula, Sn is the sum of the terms up to and including the nth term in the series. n is the number of terms we're considering. It could be either all of the numbers in the series, or a specified number of them. a1 is the value of the first term in the series, and d is the common difference, which is the difference between each consecutive term. This is a constant value in an arithmetic series. One of the ways this formula can be used is to find the sum of a specified number of terms in a given arithmetic sequence or series. For example, let's say we're asked to find the sum of the first 12 terms of the arithmetic sequence 5, 11, 17, 23, 29, etc. We'll start by writing down this formula. Because we want the sum of the first 12 terms, we'll set n as equal to 12. And we'll substitute s12 for sn, and 12 for the other two n's in the equation, like this. We know that 12 over 2 is equal to 6, and 12 minus 1 equals 11. So we'll substitute 6 in for 12 over 2, and 11 in for 12 minus 1. 
The first term in the sequence, a1, is equal to 5. So we'll substitute 5 in for a1 in this equation. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. So we'll substitute 10 in for 2 times 5 in the equation here. Looking at the sequence on the top right, we can see that we need to add 6 to each term to get to the next term. 5 plus 6 is 11, 11 plus 6 is 17, and so on. So the common difference in this sequence d is equal to 6. Therefore, we can substitute 6 in for d in our equation. 11 times 6 is equal to 66. So we'll substitute 66 in for 11 times 6. Now we have 10 plus 66 in the brackets, and 10 plus 66 is equal to 76. So we can substitute 76 in for 10 plus 66. 6 times 76 is equal to 456. So we'll substitute 456 in for 6 times 76. Now we have our final answer. The sum of the first 12 terms of this sequence is 456. These two equations are very handy. They can be used to solve various types of questions involving arithmetic sequences and series. In another video, we'll look at more example questions using these formulas.